Okay, something I get asked fairly often is, uh, is there an easy way that you can update Node from the command line? So installing Node with NPM, the same way you'd install any other uh, package with NPM. Uh, and the answer is yes, there is. So I'm going to take you quickly through the steps. Just take a moment. First thing that we want to do inside here is we want to clear out the cache. So we're going to say um, npm cache clean with the uh, force option. Boom, there. Okay, I've cleared out everything in my cache that uh, npm has stored. So I'm starting with kind of like a blank slate. Now, normally when you install Node, you would go to the website, you download the latest package, and you run the install program. Um, sometimes, though, depending on where you do it and what other things you've got configured on your system, you can end up with two different versions of Node. Um, I've had this happen in the past, so we want to avoid that. We want to use whatever the default Node install is on your system. So right now you can see I've got version 8.2.1 of Node and 5.3 of NPM. We've cleared out the cache and in order to install Node on its own from the command line we need to use NPM and we're going to install globally the package called N. N is the package which will allow us to install. So there we go, you can see I've got version 2.1.8 of N now installed on my computer. Once you've got that installed with NPM and you've installed it globally, we want to make sure that we use the global option so that we can run it from anywhere. We are going to run N and we've got a couple of options here, three options really. We can say N stable, which will give us kind of the stable version of Note. We can run and latest, which will give us the latest version of Node, which is actually what I installed here about a week ago. And the final option is that we can specify a specific version of Node. We can say, oh yeah, no, I want to have Node 7.1.2. That was the version that I needed to have. That's what my friend has installed on his computer and we're working together on a package. Um, so we can do that. Because I like to have the latest and greatest and run into all the issues and lack of documentation that comes along with that, that's what I'm going to do here. And so N latest, and then it does it. Now, there is one thing that you may run into. Depending on how you've got your system configured, you may need to use sudo if you're on Linux or Mac, uh, like I am here, to run it as an administrator. Do sudo N latest and then it's going to ask you for your password there we go and then I tried to run that and of course I have the latest versions there's nothing that's running right now uh, on Windows if you're trying to do this you may want to run your command prompt as administrator so when you go to the uh, start page now I guess it's called uh, and you find the command prompt, right click on it and run as administrator. It'll come up and then you'll be able to run all of the install commands from the command prompt without uh, running into any permissions issues. And that's it. That's how you install and update Node from the command line.